Stan Jabalisco here. What you're looking at is a junction box. It is a place where an electrical wire splice is housed. I'm working on it right now so the junction box is open, but it has a cover plate that goes on it. It's entirely metal and it's intended for safety purposes. Every time you have a wire splice, in an electrical system, the National Electric Code requires that you use a junction box if you want to comply with their codes. Right down there, what you're looking at is the breaker strips that I use when I'm operating the generator to power my furnace in the event of a power failure. I just got done testing that generator. There she is, the Honda EU2000i generator. That's a wonderful little generator. I've had it for almost 10 years. There, of course, are the laundry machines. All this is quite blurry. I'm sorry about that. But what I really wanted to show you was what a junction box looks like. You can get them at any hardware store and every time you make a wire splice in your utility wiring you need to use one of these things, one of these metal enclosures. I guess the intent is that if there's any sparking that should occur at that splice and there are those nuts, uh, wire nuts that you screw over the twist splices that you make inside of there and then you just tuck everything in there making sure that nothing will short out and clamp the metal plate on top of there and that's it. Always also make sure to use cord that's capable of carrying the current that you're going to demand from the utility to run whatever it is you want to run. Stan Jabalisco signing off from the Nerd Castle basement otherwise known as the Nerd Cave. Till next time, so long.